you. Uh, good evening. My name is Edmund Kay. I'm a PhD student at the University of, uh, in the Department of Engineering at this university, and uh, I'm just here to give you a brief introduction to my research, which is on an intelligent stethoscope. So the idea being you can take a recording of someone's heart and then the stethoscope will tell you whether you have any abnormalities and need to get further tests. Uh, so as an introduction, cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of death worldwide. About a third of all deaths are caused by, by cardiovascular disease. And what we're kind of focused on is how this is diagnosed. So in this country, so high income countries such as the UK, the first stage is you're gonna to go to your GP and they'll perform a physical exam. And as part of that, they're going to listen to your heart using, using their stethoscopes. And if they hear anything that's wrong, they then send you on for further tests. So you get an ultrasound. And then based on the results of that ultrasound, you go and get whatever treatment you need. Uh, so that's kind of fine in, th in this country. But in low-income countries, it's much harder to do this because you get patient-to-doctor ratios of up to 50,000 to 1. So it's very difficult for anyone to even see the doctor in the first place. And so if you don't get that initial first uh, checkup, that combined with the fact that there's little access to these ultrasound tests means you're not going to get the correct treatment that you need. And so just a quick introduction to the, the stethoscope. Uh, this was invented over 200 years ago, and the basic design hasn't changed much since. It just simply transfers the vibrations from a patient's heart to the doctor's ears for them to interpret. So, and it requires a really experienced doctor to know what's, what they're listening for. But in the wrong hands, it can be inaccurate. And so what we're trying to develop is a, is a device uh, that can take a recording of your heart sounds and then automatically determine whether there's anything wrong. So this is invented in, well, hopefully soon. Uh, <laughs> can be used by anyone, that's the key. So anyone, you don't need access to a doctor to give you an accurate uh, heart checkup. And it also has the potential to be very accurate because it's just uh, led by data. The more data it's given, the more accurate it becomes. So we're hoping that this can, this can give you a really accurate idea of whether you need uh, further tests. So just an example of what doctors are listening for. On the, here we've got a schematic of just one side of your heart. And what happens is the ventricle at the bottom is just contracts, and that pushes blood out to the rest of the body uh, through the aorta. So something like that. And in a normal person, that aortic valve that you see opening at the top left there uh, looks something like this. So it opens fully, and you've got no problems. Uh, and that creates a sort of sound signal that looks like this. So you have peaks in your heart sounds. That's the valves opening and shutting. And in between those, you shouldn't hear any sounds as the blood goes smoothly out of the valve. So hopefully the sound's working. But this is what it should sound like. So you've just got those two peaks and not much in between. But one of the common uh, heart, heart conditions is called aortic stenosis. And this is where that valve, where the blood goes out through the aorta, doesn't fully open properly. And so you get some calcium deposits on the edge of the valve. The valve doesn't open properly. And then you get this really fast jet of blood going out of that narrow opening. And that creates a bunch of turbulence, which you can then pick up with your stethoscope. And so that sounds... Uh, Something like this. So every time it goes out the valve, you can hear that rushing sound, and that's typical of that sort of valve disease. And so that's what our device is trying to pick up. Sounds like this that then indicate there's something wrong with the valve and you need to go and get a further test. Uh, so what we do, in a nutshell, is we take recordings of people's heart sounds, so we've got over a 1,000 of these, and we feed it into a, a machine learning algorithm and that then learns to detect between those two different types of sounds, the normal and the abnormal one, so that you can then tell whether someone has a murmur or not. And so we've got some results from sort of preliminary version of this system. And so you can plot all the signals that we have on a graph. So the higher up the graph is, the more normal the heart sound, the further down, the more abnormal. And then this side is just how good the recording is. Uh, so if we plot all the, all the normal signals on first, you can see they're roughly above the line. It makes a few mistakes, uh, but not too bad. And similarly, with all the abnormal ones, they're mostly below the line. And so the thing is doing kind of OK. It makes a few errors here and there. Uh, but the headline figure is sort of 90% accurate detecting these, these abnormalities. And although that's the headline figure, what I was slightly more concerned about is when I developed this was how good I was uh, and whether my heart was OK. So 
straight away, as soon as this was ready, I took a recording. Uh, sounds like this. As you can tell, I'm pretty nervous about the outcome of this. Uh, unfortunately, that was above the line, so as long as I'm in the, not in the 10% error rate, I'm hopefully fine. Uh, so yeah, just to summarize, we're trying to just develop this uh, new version of the stethoscope that can automatically detect these, these abnormalities in your heart sounds. Thank you.